back to the Institute of Bricks. Today we're going to be reviewing the Lego City Capital City set. I hope you enjoy this review. First, let's review the mini electric car set here, part here. As you can see, there is the mini electric car. It's a small orange car with a sticker. A little area for, I guess, like a briefcase or something. Um, a seat for one minifigure and a steering wheel. Opening, oh shoot. Small little lights, another um, thing in front, and then a little door that opens. But what's interesting about it is that it's an electric car. Now as you can see, you have this little thing that if you take this out, it actually, well, sorry. If you take this out, it plug, you can have it like it's charging into the front of this car. It's a, I think that is a very cute design that LEGO came up with. Next, we will be reviewing the half pipe, or whatever it's called, I don't know, I don't skateboard. There is a lot area for, a, for the kid to skateboard on, and then there's a basketball hoop with a little backboard and a climbing wall. And during these uncertain times, I recommend not playing basketball. Next, let's review this car. As you can see, there's a little spot in here for one person in a bag. And then there's a wheel, the wheels on the back. And I believe this chassis is extra wide, which I have never seen before in all my years of doing Lego. The front, I, I think, is great. Nice detailing, greveling, and the back is great with this illegal building technique right here, which I think is great. And let's move on. Next, oh shit. Next, let's review this snack bar and bus stop. Let's review the bus stop half. There is a bus stop sign here for the um tour bus trash can seats. Then there's two hot dogs, a pizza, and if you go inside, there's some sort of drink and some coolers and stuff. It's a very small but detailed thing that I think is great. Next, let's review this double-decker tour bus. And there's a, a sticker for the museum here, which I'll show you later. There's sightseeing tours, stay at hotel, which I will show you the hotel. The museum, which I'll show you. And yeah, there's a top layer, which I think is very nice. And you can remove that it in two sections. See, it's very simple. And first, let's review the back. There's a seat and a ta and table. And in the front, there is um, a little seat for the driver, control panel, and a um, door that opens. Yeah. Next, let's review this little ice cream buggy. It's a three-wheel buggy, which I think is such a cute thing for Lego to put in. I love it. There's a seat for one up here, and the colors are so vi vibrant, which is so cute. It's a little ice cream cart. There's little ice cream flavors and cones and stuff. I really love it. And look, there's one, two, three, four, five cones. Well, it's actually a cone and, and three studs on top of it, but... It gives you the idea that the cones are stacked together, which I truly love. There's a cute little red umbrella here, and yeah. Next, if we review the museum here, there is a, um, it's an attachable build, which you can use a crane that I will show you later to, um, to take off this roof. Oh, shoot. Sorry. I will show you later the function. And then you, there's a little alleyway here. I feel as though this museum is a little minimalistic. There's not really much in here besides this one exhibit. So if this were open, it would be the world's lamest museum. I'm sorry, let me just get this open. There's just a statue. There's just a figure for a... Um, Homo erectus, or early Homo sapien, which I think is cute. Next, let's review the crane here. I, I like the detailing on the screen. As you can see, there's a hook 
to put the um to put so that you can lower down the roof on and bam or lower down the homo erectus or homo early homo sapien statue there's a little hood that you can open up so that the man can go in there and then there's you can pull this knob to shorten the um the line sorry let me hold that still or elongate it and then this beam can shorten. Sorry, it's a little stiff. Uh, as you can see. And let me just roll that up more so it doesn't get tangled. Because this easily gets tangled. As you can see. And then this knob here lets down the controls the boom going up and down. As you can see. It's all the way down, so it can go and drive onto a trailer. Let's review the final building. There's two flower beds down here, and a little red carpet path, like something you might see in Hollywood. Then there's a turning door here, at, like in many places. And then if you turn around in the back, there is a um, little inside area. I don't really like the co these two colors and their contrasts. So yeah. And there's a little um, seating area. There's supposed to be a seat there, but sadly I lost it while I'm making this video. Now there is like a little area back here with a computer screen. And yeah. And then if you go upstairs, there's two rooms. There's the main, there's the big room, which has a simple little bed, a um, a lamp, and a coffee mug. And then this one just has a lamp that fell over and a bed. Go to the top. There's a pool and a lawn chair, a um, reclining chair, as you can see, with an umbrella and a um little green area this kind of reminds me of a hotel you might see in for example the big apple or something so yeah let's move on to the minifigures first let's review the singer he comes with a small microphone piece that's only made of, of one two three four five pieces and if you take it off he comes with a just a plain red guitar no detailing and he has a nice face the spiky black hair no double-sided face a plaid shirt a plaid shirt, um, as you can see, a nice orange scarf that I love, and a um, gray pants. Next, let's move on to the, um, well, it looks like teen. He has a skateboard with two stickers on it. As you can see, they're both identical. They look kind of like a jellyfish. Then the teen has a small face, a smiley face. It looks like khakis. Um, red shirt and a hoodie, smiley face, and a helmet because he is sensible and wants to keep his head safe. Next, let's review the man in the electric car. He has the blonde surfer hair, a nice suit and tie and glasses, and pretty simple minifig. Next, let's review, I'm sorry. Let's review this tourist man. He has a big camera that looks like it's probably about $500. Nice khaki cut pants. A um, brownish, tannish hat. I don't know how to describe it. Silver sunglasses and everything. A Hawaiian shirt. And yeah. Next, let's review the um, tourist lady. As you can see, she has a pink top and sunglasses and lipstick, blonde hair, a little bit of flower necklace and white pants. Not much on the back, yeah. Next, let's, let's review the construction theme girl. She has brown arms, um, brown legs, um, sort of like an orange vest, sorry. Um, a face with like glasses and also this piece a dual molded, molded piece of 
hair and a helmet, which I think is nice. Next, let's review the girl working at the hot dog stand slash bus stop. She has a nice jacket, which I think is a really nice piece. Um, gray pants, and on the back she has an eight, so I'm guessing it's probably like either some sort of jersey, some sort of person representing some team or something, yeah. Next, let's review the police girl. She has a, um, a light blue uniform, a, um, dark blue pants, very simple police uniform, yeah. Next, let's review the bus driver who has mostly black uniform, a little bit of like a blue, is that purple or blue? I can't tell outline. White arms, a tie, a nice face, and hat. Next, let's re review the ice cream girl. As you can see, she has like a little scarf on and stuff yeah i don't really red scarf striped shirt not much on the back i really love her hair piece yeah next let's review the other construction man he is wearing all orange has a face so it's like sort of like messed up like i guess he got some scratches or blasts of dirt the helmet with headphones integrated and finally let's re review the um the um caveman here he has a black spear the this big bulky hair as you can see un underneath he just has big eyebrows and stuff but that covers it up he has sort of like a cloth thing and on the back bone and stuff and yeah thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed now i have some great news for you on april 22nd I will be doing a live stream at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Central Time, 2 p.m. Wait, 2 p.m. Mountain Time and 1 p.m. Pacific Time. We will be doing so many fun things like Q and A, and also I will be reviewing this Lego set here, which should hopefully be a lot of fun. Please come and support my channel, and I hope you enjoy. I'll see you later.